एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर मंगला गौरी कंसल्टेंट फर्टिलिटी स्पेशलिस्ट एट ऑल्टीज हॉस्पिटल आर आर नगर बैंगलोर टूडे वी गोइंग टू स्पीक अबाउट इनफर्टिलिटी वॉट इज इनफर्टिलिटी इनफर्टिलिटी इज द इनेबिलिटी टू अचीव कंसेप्शन वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ इनफर्टिलिटी प्राइमरी इनफर्टिलिटी एंड सेकेंडरी इनफर्टिलिटी primary infertility is when you have never achieved conception secondary infertility is where you have achieved conception before but are not able to do so subsequently it may be a previous miscarriage or you might have a previous child but you are not able to conceive second child this is secondary infertility so what are the causes for infertility so we can divide it into male factor infertility female factor infertility and unexplained infertility so male factor so in this mainly we will assess it by semen analysis so the counts the number of sperms may be low the motility that is the movement of sperms may be less it is below a desired limit and the morphology that is how the sperms look that may be abnormal below a certain recommended level in spite of being the semen analysis being normal there can be other factors like ejaculatory problem or erectile dysfunction or psychological issues and few other anatomical factors like cryptorchidism varicocele and other issues which are related to the male anatomy female factors it could be ovulatory dysfunction so the every month the female is producing a single egg in each cycle so there may be a problem with that that is called ovulatory dysfunction which happens in cases like polycystic ovarian syndrome or there can be endometriosis where the menstrual blood instead of coming out it can flow backward and it can go to the ovaries and it can result in adhesions that is sticking up of reproductive organs to each other and it will alter the tubal anatomy and it may cause infertility or there could be tubal factor as such damage to the tubes due to previous surgery severe endometriosis or infections like pelvic inflammatory disease or there could be a uterine factor there could be a abnormal uterus by birth itself so which is called unicorniate bicorniate or septate uterus the uterus may be abnormal anatomically or in cases of secondary infertility there can be adhesions there can be bands within the uterus that is not allowing the conceptus to grow so that is called asherman syndrome which results in infertility so in some cases everything will be normal this male factor male partner uh, analysis semen analysis would be normal and the uh, his uh, anatomy would be normal there would be no other pathology even the female there would be no pathology detected she would have regular cycles no pco no endometriosis despite that the couple is not able to achieve conception so we call such cases of unexplained infertility so typically infertility is diagnosed after one year of regular unprotected intercourse so in women with advanced age like 35 years or more we recommend evaluation within 6 months or who have known abnormalities like known male factor problems or known case of endometriosis or known genetic disorders we recommend earlier evaluation like within 6 months post marriage so this is a brief about infertility